Family Guy has never held back when it comes to pushing boundaries, and we love them for that. Rather than shying away from edgy jokes, they run headlong into them and let the viewer decide if they really want to stick around for the ride. But sometimes, the network just can't deal, and some of the craziest scenes wind up on the cutting room floor. Lucky for you, we've swept them right back up. Sometimes scenes are cut for content reasons, and some are clearly just way too long to make it to air. But one season six deleted scene was very obviously cut for what it contains, as the bit itself is barely five seconds long. Peter comments on needing a tattoo removed and rolls up his sleeve to reveal a tattoo that says, black people make me uncomfortable. No wonder he wants that one gone, and no wonder they didn't want to let that little moment onto TV either. In the season 12 episode, Baby Got Black, Peter, Quagmire, and Joe make a bet as to which one of them can stay awake the longest. Things go all right until 62 hours in, when the guys really start to lose it and begin hallucinating. In a truly disturbing and surprisingly graphic deleted scene, Quagmire hallucinates Peter's butt turning into a fly and attacking him. In reality, Peter was himself hallucinating that Quagmire was a toilet, which managed to stay in the episode. The fly transition, however, definitely did not make it to TV. Another joke in season 12 might have proven just too hot button for the Fox Network's liking, and the fact that they cut this bit is not really all that surprising. Peter sets up a classic Family Guy cutaway gag by telling Chris about the time he was Roe's boyfriend. We don't know who Roe is until it reveals that Peter is in the middle of the famous Supreme Court case, Roe v. Wade. When the court rules in favor of Roe, Peter is delighted and tells his very pregnant girlfriend to... Everyone was thrilled to see Cleveland return to Family Guy, no one more so than Peter himself. But when their wives don't get along, Peter and Cleveland are forbidden to see each other, so they start sneaking out to the country to do so. In a long deleted scene, we see the two of them meeting at a cabin, and each time they one-up each other with the drugs they bring to the hangout. First beer, then pot, then acid, crystal meth, and finally, Peter brings 10 rounds of chemotherapy, which for some reason they partake in. Poor Meg. She really just can't catch a break. But maybe by deleting this pretty brutal scene, the network was actually giving her one for once. In a one-off gag in season 12, an old-timey nemesis of Stewie's shows up as the family is eating dinner and attempts to shoot him. While he just grazes Stewie's arm, Meg ends up taking the bullet right between the eyes. She dies and lies there bleeding from the head in front of everyone. Of course, none of the family pays any attention and completely ignores poor, poor, Meg. There's nothing Family Guy loves more than a seemingly random setup for a good cutaway gag, but maybe this one was just a bit too much to air on TV. When commenting on Joe's grilling, Peter says that the burgers he's cooking are still colder than an Asian in-law. They then cut to a white guy being harshly questioned by his Asian father-in-law about his education, job, and yearly salary. The father is bluntly critical until he finds out how much his son-in-law makes per year, before cheering right up after he finds out it's quite a lot. Brian has had a lot of girlfriends over the years, but perhaps his biggest heartbreak was Jillian, the sweet but not so bright blonde voiced by Drew Barrymore. In a deleted scene when Peter is getting to know Jillian and what kind of wedding she wants, he asks her if she wants a Jewish wedding. When Jillian asks why she'd want that, Peter reveals that he was sneakily trying to find out if she was hiding the fact that she was Jewish. It's pretty questionable why he would even care whether she was or wasn't. We all know that Dr. Hartman is pretty much the worst doctor out there there, and really the last person you'd want operating on you. In one particular deleted scene, he really proves why. While Lois is in the hospital, Dr. Hartman enters the room chewing on something. When Peter asks what it is, Hartman actually says it's Lois's tumor, and that a hazard of working in the cancer ward is getting addicted to them. Of all the gross things Family Guy has ever done, they may have seriously outdone themselves with that one. Family Guy isn't known for being very sensitive when it comes to issues about race, but at least they tend to make fun of literally everyone evenly. Even still, some jokes prove too much to let on network TV. Like this one about a girl Brian brings home named Mina. Peter is wowed by how exotic she looks, and when he finds out that she is half Indian and half African American, he says it was smart of her family to breed out the breathing problems. Thankfully, Brian cuts him off before he can explain further. 
In the episode Spies Reminiscent of Us, Stewie and Brian wind up following Dan Aykroyd and Chevy Chase to Russia. While complaining that they have made a terrible mistake, Stewie says that coming to Russia was a worse idea than a leper colony doing the hokey pokey. What follows is the single saddest version of the song and dance that you've ever seen, with limbs falling all over the place and the group looking like they're on death's door. Why they would ever decide to give the hokey pokey a try in the first place is beyond us. The episode where Quagmire finds out that he has a baby daughter made everyone a little nervous. After all, Quagmire has a pretty questionable history with women, but one joke in particular proved just a little too much for TV. When Lois and Peter try and help Quagmire learn to change a diaper, Peter comments that Anna has made a big one. Quagmire responds that she does it for free now, but when she's 21, she'll charge extra for it. It's bad enough as is, but the fact that he's talking about his daughter, yikes. Religion has never been a topic that Family Guy is afraid to tackle, especially when it comes to Jesus. Not only does he visit Quahog in person, but he's actually kind of a loser when he does. In the episode where the guys try and help Jesus have his first time, he tries picking up a series of women. One moment was cut, and we bet we know why. He tries out a pickup line on one blonde that uh, doesn't go so well. Just, just watch, just watch it. Usually, Family Guy jokes don't make it to air because they're deemed a little too dirty or inappropriate for network audiences. But sometimes, and in the case of this one, the joke might just be a little too real. When Peter and the guys get trapped inside an attic together, Peter says that they are locked in a cramped, sweltering room with inhumane conditions, and that the only thing to do is to build some iPads. It's one of those jokes that actually hurts because of the reality it's representing. The episode in which Peter has a stroke was already seriously controversial for its time, so it's pretty surprising that there were any jokes that didn't make it to air. But one of Stewie's was apparently just too far for the network censors, and never made it to broadcast. It features Stewie comparing Peter's disturbing appearance post-stroke to a bad idea hooker, and cuts away to a woman on the street proposing a series of things to passing men that are indeed very bad ideas. Seth MacFarlane has been pretty open over the years about his atheist beliefs, and he isn't shy about working them into the show whenever he can, even if sometimes they don't make it past censors. One in particular leaves nothing to the imagination about his feelings about religion. It features a Christian missionary visiting what looks like a secluded tribesman. The two have a very blunt conversation in which the missionary tries to convince the man to learn all about his imaginary guy, and leaves him a Bible, which he calls some made-up material. Joe has always had a bit of a rough go of it on the show, as much as he tries to make the best of it. When he writes a book called The Hopeful Squirrel, it seems like things might just be looking up, but in one seriously dark deleted scene, it doesn't seem quite as optimistic. In the scene, Joe accidentally runs over a squirrel with his wheelchair, destroying its bottom half. Just as he is about to teach it that it will be okay, a gunshot is heard, and we see that the squirrel has killed itself. Yeesh. Ah, Mort. The local pharmacist and resident Jewish character on the show has taken his fair share of hits over the 17 seasons that Family Guy has been on the air. But it seems that sometimes it's just a little too much. When Brian becomes a realtor, he is looking for someone to buy a property at the Drunken Clam. When Mort enters, Brian asks if he knows anyone with money. Mort says yes. Brian asks if he knows anyone who is willing to spend money, and Mort says no, before stealing all of the peanuts and leaving. Why is Quagmire the way he is? Well, a deleted scene offers a pretty obscene answer. When Quagmire's mom shows up while he's in the middle of a court case, she offers some insight into why he is the way he is. One particular scene was cut, which took things just a little too far. Literally right after Quagmire's birth, the doctor asks Mrs. Quagmire how she feels. And, well, she doesn't have the reaction you might think. She has the doctor put Quagmire back in and out and, yeah. Apparently, the episode we just mentioned was over the top in more ways than one, as another deleted scene from it was just a bit too much to air. While Quagmire is being questioned in court, he says that his mother not only had an affair with Stephen Hawking, but actually gave him the idea for his theory on black holes. The episode cuts to Professor Hawking giving a lecture and describing a, <clears throat> a black hole in serious detail, though it's pretty clear he isn't talking about space. We know that Stewie's feelings about murdering people are pretty relaxed, and we've seen him do it on more than one occasion. But one particular deleted scene was apparently a step too far for Fox. While Joe soaks in his hot tub, supported by four water wings, Stewie takes out a sniper rifle and shoots holes in each of the floaty devices. While Joe slowly drowns and calls out to Bonnie, we see her standing at the back door, watching and doing nothing to help. 
It's been clear since the first time we met him that Stewie isn't a regular baby, which has been known to get him into trouble on more than one occasion, like this deleted scene, which gives Creepy Herbert a run for his money. Stewie mentions that he is shooting an episode of the show Catfish, and then it cuts to the man he's been catfishing. Rather than hoping that he is on his way to meet another adult, the man is a little too excited at the idea that he's on his way to court a baby. Tom Tucker gets away with saying things on the news that pretty much no other anchor alive would be able to. But even he goes too far for the Fox network, apparently, as it is clear in this deleted scene. When delivering a story about a panda bear in the Quahog Zoo who is sick with tater tot poisoning, he gives a quote by the Chinese ambassador. But instead of a real quote, he just spouts a string of Asian stereotypes like Tiger Bomb, Meg Fu Young, and Practice Your Piano Math. Some people might think that jokes about the Holocaust are still too taboo for TV, and seeing as how this one scene was cut from the broadcast, the network might agree. It starts off with Meg making a comment that the world was too slow to respond to the Holocaust before cutting to Peter solemnly agreeing. After a few seconds of silence, he says that they've now earned a joke about an anti-Semitic pigeon, and cuts away to a gag about a couple of birds badgering two very stereotypical men having lunch. Peter is an honest guy, sometimes so much so that it gets him into trouble. In this deleted scene, Brian sets up a cutaway of Peter giving a deposition by saying that he never knows what he's doing, and is quickly proven right. While sitting in a room full of lawyers, Peter casually goes over the details of a time when he had time to kill in a hotel room, and things get honest and graphic pretty quickly. Of course, it turns out that they had simply asked him to identify his signature in the first place. And while we'll never side with censorship, this scene that was cut from an episode in Season 6 is a real doozy. We open on Stewie putting together a sniper rifle, talking to Rupert about doing his community service. Which it turns out is killing the, shall we say, working woman leaving Quagmire's house. And it doesn't stop there. Once she's dead, rather than being shocked by it, Quagmire gets excited and starts dragging her back inside. Thankfully, he has a change of heart, but we're not so sure that makes up for the rest of the scene. For all the reasons that Family Guy has to leave so much on the cutting room floor, we still love them. What did you think of these deleted scenes? Should they have made it to air? Did we miss any good ones that we should know about? Let us know down below, and thanks for watching.